somehow after getting a phone number creating a bank account and getting a transportation pass also validating my visa i still feel as though i'm just visiting here instead of like creating a whole new life So the journey from Charles de Gaulle to where I'm staying um, was a bit of a rough one. The taxi driver was so chaotic and it took us probably an hour to get to our place. just that I am so 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 grateful to be here to God and my mom um, if you know me you know the story behind all of my attempts that I've been trying to make to move for five years now and my dreams have finally come to fruition so I'll be here um, in school studying and finally getting my degree in directing and filmmaking and it just feels so special to be here with my sister as well um, who also lives here and studies here um, so yeah I haven't really done anything we came from the airport well let's talk about the flight the flight was good um, not too shaky the flu was all right I'm really hungry right now, so my sister is cooking. We're gonna eat and then head out into the city so I can get like my phone number and all of those like logistical admin stuff sorted. Um, but for the most part, we've just been chilling here for the past hour or two. Yeah, hour or two. And yeah, it's really, really, really nice to be here. I came on like a rainy slash gloomy day, but it's fine, it's cool, so I am about to go down to like I guess the convenience store to get her a ride book. She's really tired, like having to wake up, having to wake up really early to pick me up from the airport. So I'm gonna do that, we're gonna eat, and then we're gonna head out. So I felt hot. I don't know, I'm going by myself. I don't really know where I'm going or what I'm doing, but she just told me to walk in the store, say bonjour and then pick it up but they also speak english so <laughs> it should be fine i was just brushing my hair and then i'm gonna wear this cap and i need shoes I'll probably wear my sneakers but this is the look what they call this <laughs> Silver, 
despite the cold and changing seasons, I'm still trying to adapt to. The beauty you see everywhere on every corner, to see so many people just going about their day, living life so uniquely, to think of all the opportunities I now have access to is so inspiring. They have me and my fresh relaxer in the rain. But it's still my first day. My sister and her friend planned to go to this concert, so I just came and tagged along. Don't know the bands, just know it's indie. Hopefully, it's good. This is my outfit. Very, very French. Mostly because I still need to buy things that, is act that are actually my style. But, yeah, I'm fine though. I mean, I feel like I'm still a bit cute. Anyway, oh, that was the longest walk ever. <laughs> note I've been thinking a lot about the end of my waiting season and how this dream is the first thing I've ever really wanted that I had to actively wait and have faith for. I can never say that God has never came through for me despite the years of refining that I sometimes thought I was just being told no instead of not yet. Good morning. 
so it is my second day in Paris. Um, I woke up not too long ago. Let me sit up. Okay, let me sit up. <laughs> um, yeah, so I well, let's recap from like continuing through the night. Um, after the concert, I came home, had a Red Bull, um, just to help myself like unpack. So I did most of everything and I only have my carry-on left to do. Um, but it's mostly like dress up clothes or like going out clothes that I don't really know where to put because I can't wear them right now, obviously. But yeah, so after that, um, I had a project, two projects to finish by Wednesday. Thankfully, I did not start yet. I was supposed to edit in the airport, but I didn't do that. But thankfully, since Paris is six hours ahead, it gave me kind of like a head start, you know? So I stayed up through the night and I did that. And then I went to bed at like 8.30 a.m. <laughs> I've literally been up for more than 24 hours, but I went to bed at 8.30 a.m. And then I woke up around 12 and then I like rendered my projects I was able to do everything in time and that's mostly why I procrastinated because I know it was an easy job but um which is not good but anyway now that is transferring on OneDrive um I just went upstairs to have breakfast with my sister uh we got a what do you call it? she's okay I specifically asked her what it's called just so I could say it and I forgot already but it's called I think it's called a croco mousse something like that it's like ham cheese like maybe brioche bread i'm assuming and it was in the shape of a teddy bear but we got it from a boulanger yesterday and so i had that for breakfast just now and it was really good but i was full so i just gave the rest to her and now i'm in bed chilling waiting for my transfer to finish and then i have to get ready to go to make a bank account today um, so I have an appointment. Hopefully everything goes smoothly because I'm going by myself. Um, and I don't speak French, but fingers crossed. Um, I'll be like, this, that will be the first time that I'll be like traversing the streets by myself. My sister won't be with me. So we'll see. We'll see. But yesterday I also got a phone number if I didn't say that. So it's not like I'll be like disconnected or like just on my own completely but I think that's it that's all the updates I have um people keep asking me well I met my sister's friends and they kept asking like what were my first impressions of Paris and obviously it's really beautiful because I've like seen so many things like so much so much art created in the city it feels like a set somehow and i still feel like i haven't moved here like to live here like i just feel like i'm visiting my sister so we'll see is how time goes by and how that changes and just the journey of um starting school in two weeks and making friends and just feeling comfortable on my own but that's the update. Y'all, yeah. I'm outside on my own. <sighs> and it's raining. Just a little bit. Bear left on Avenue de la Peyra. Then in 150 meters, bear right onto the path. Okay, I just got back from the bank. Everything went well. It was fine. Not anxiety inducing at all. Now I am taking the elevator back to my room. Update on today. Um, I didn't do anything else but chill and send off some freelance projects i just came back from outside i got some japanese curry from this place my sister recommended around the corner and now i'm in the elevator heading back up to have dinner that's it
Okay, y'all. So, this is what my karage curry. Oh, I didn't know it was this deep. This is what my curry came yeah, in. And I had one bite already, but it's really good. It comes with chicken and pork and these ginger, uh, pickle ginger thingies, whatever they are. But it's good. I told the vlog that you recommended it, so good job, Sonia. Yeah. Total? The vlog. Okay. Very good, very good. I'll eat now. finished my dinner and then just chilled with my sister um what do you call it like um uh, like you know when you, when two people are on their phone but they're in the same spot there's a psychology term for it parallel play yes we were parallel playing um and it's now 9 p.m and I did not get a lot of sleep last night, so I'm really looking forward to going to bed early. And by early, I mean like 12 a.m. <laughs> but otherwise, I'm just going to stop putting together the vlogs and stuff and get ready for bed. And then I have to send over some of my previous projects to um a friend but yeah um it's it was a good slow day that bun was so dry it was a good slow day tomorrow i'll be on my own so i think i'm just gonna like be very chill get matcha explore and i still haven't seen like one touristy thing so that's my plan anyways yeah good night day two completed i guess yeah guys the sun is out in paris <laughs> okay <laughs> it's a blue sky so exciting <laughs> do anything earlier in this day but I waited till my sister got home from work and then we went to this English pub for a networking event she had and I just tagged along as always just so that I can see more of Paris and get adapted really quickly. After the event we stopped to get ice cream slash sorbet. Um, I got a hot chocolate with hazelnuts but my sister and her friend indulged in the ice cream. It was really really good. Mm -hmm. Thursday morning, the day began with my sister and I on another walk. Uh, this time she took me to see the Louvre. It was the first touristy thing that I have did since I've been here. I still haven't seen the Eiffel Tower, but I'm sure we'll get around to it. And then we went over the bridge to Ribgouche. Ribgouche. I don't know if I said the right. <laughs> um, just to see the other side of Paris and I also saw the sun for the first time. It was very very windy and cold this day so after all of that walking we stopped into a cafe called Cordelia. We got some matcha. She also took me to the Saint Laurent Babylon store which is a book and vinyl shop about all things photography, film, architecture, music, club culture, like literally everything you can think of. It is the coolest store I've ever been in. Oh, sun! Look at the car, it's so cute. The car is so cute. <laughs> the walk was also really great because the sun was peeking out. We saw some flowers. It was really, really nice. This side of Paris was very quiet compared to the first. Thank you. 
After you have all the reproduction of polarity that you, do, you took in Tokyo in Japan and you do your own little book. Your own creation. Yeah. Got and it. This one is a very limited edition to only 10 copies. Each cover of the 10 copies is, is ceramic and it's uh, unique because it reproduces the original polarity you have it. So it's why it's very limited. It's because you have the original polarity so you can print that, you can print that in your library. And curse my fate Wishing light to one more rage in hope Feed your like Liking his friends Possessed Yet In these cells Myself almost despising Apply I think on thee And then my state Night to the lock at break of day rising. From Sylvan House sings him at even's gate. For that sweet love remembered such well springs that then I scorn to change my state with kings. Everything looks so good. <laughs> and there's the food. That's <laughs> we just finished Hot Pot and for the first time. It was really, really good. It was super cool. And now I need to walk for an hour at least to feel like I'm not exploding. <laughs> So now we're walking to some kind of design market. Um, and yeah, Sunday in Thailand. Today is way too nice and warm and sunny out for me to stay inside. So we're walking to the shot in the Tivities.
guys, I made it to the gardens. Um, it's very fall, giving very much fall, not summer. But it's okay, it's still really pretty. Um, I'm sitting on this park bench by myself. I'm sitting very strategically because there's bird poop everywhere. <laughs> but I'm glad I came outside to see the skies and feel the sun, hearing the crows. Yeah. I only have a few more days left before I start school, so I'm taking this time to just relax and take it all in. But I brought my ogre tea from home and my Yeti. And I brought a book that I got from the St. Laurent store. So I look at my Yeti. Very cute, gifted by my boyfriend. Um, she's coming in handy. She does not leak at all. Like, y'all could miss me with the Stanleys. But yeah, I'm gonna, just gonna sit here and enjoy the day now. I'm so grateful for the sun, y'all don't know. Anyway, I'm here in Jordan de Tulides with Samia. Um, just meeting her while she works, and then I'm just gonna be enjoying outside. The sun was out a moment ago. she lived here in Paris. The sun was out a moment ago, but now it's not. But it's okay. Also, I need to stop being shy about vlogging with my Pocket Three because it just looks so much better. You got to set your mind free. Okay, I need no music to the video sponsored by Pompat. By, how do you say it? Pompat. 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 It's apple sauce, guys. Apple what? Why are you sighing? I'm breathing. It's a long day. Oh, the trees are losing their leaves. This is your first autumn. 